Machine Translation Hello. I continue the story with a high-speed train on a suspension with the effect of a magnetic pit. After several attempts to write to ministries, governments of different countries about this kind of transportation, occupying a place between high-speed train and train on a magnetic cushion, I gave up this useless business. Information for those who have not watched my videos on this topic. Created a model of high-speed train on the suspension with the effect of a magnetic pit, not a magnetic cushion, it is two big differences. If the magnetic cushion only repels, the magnetic pit also attracts. So the metal is in the middle of the magnetic field. What is the difference between a magnetic or rather electromagnetic cushion train and a magnetic pit train? The electromagnetic cushion train requires too much electricity and the superconductor train requires cooling from cryogenic liquefied gas plants. It needs a level track and the levitation effect comes only at a certain speed, hovering 10 to 15 mm from the surface. Many high-tech units are used. High cost. A train on a suspension with a magnetic pit effect does not require a lot of electricity, only to power a traction magnetic, electromagnetic or linear motor, which can be obtained from solar and lithium batteries charged by a generator. It doesn't need a flat track, it can go sideways, upright and upside down. The terrain is not an obstacle for it, nor is the brokenness of the track, it skips over these obstacles with the same speed and ease. The distance to the surface depends on the strength of the magnets, and the speed on the power of the linear motor. It is also possible to travel underwater when sealed. In mountainous terrain it is possible to create a train in a gyroscopic ring, which will not overturn if the track goes sideways or overhead. Lack of complex assemblies, which are defined only for the comfort of passengers in the cars. Low cost compared to electromagnetic cushion trains. The design of the suspension is a trade secret. I will only tell you one thing, a magnetic pit still has a fulcrum, just like a magnetic cushion. The difference between the support point of railroad transport and transport on the effect of magnetic pit is that in the first kind of the entire mass rests on the point of the wheel rail vertically, and in the second kind rests on the magnetic field and there is pressure on the track of the vertical protective roller on the edges of the suspension. The contact of the magnetic field occurs with the surface of the track consisting of two tracks plates with width from 300 to 500 mm and thickness from 10 to 20 mm. The track design is a T-shaped construction with a set of plates with differential characteristics of steel or composite materials with dimensions of 100 by 100 mm. The tracks are connected by stud bolts or by welding and installed on trestles. The length between trestles is 30 to 50 meters. Tracks can be single track or multi track, with track structures placed on both common and freestanding supports. The supports consist of reinforced concrete, metal structures, or fiberglass materials from 1 meter above the ground in open areas to 20 to 30 meters above wooded areas. In addition, small tracks for cars equipped with Magfly technology will be laid on the supports, which will allow fast travel between settlements. The tracks can be undulating intermittent or deformed. The movement is driven by a magnetic or electromagnetic motor wheel with high revolutions, giving the train movement at high speed. Linear motor propulsion is possible, but this option requires cabling and power supply along the entire track, or an aluminum strip between tracks along the entire track. The design of the fuselage resembles that of an airplane or high-speed train fuselage, with its aerodynamic characteristics. Passenger comfort is ensured by its airplane-like pressure inside. Conducted a couple of tests, but not successfully, which is understandable, you need precision performance as the suspension itself and tracks. In addition, it turned out that the motor needs more help, this one did not pull something from the battery.